Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Victory at Sea. I'm your Leo Scalvin. So this is an interesting little game. I actually got it uh, about a year ago. Uh, meant to do a series on it, but I was real busy, and now there's a lull in things, so I'm finally getting around to doing it. This is an interesting little game that I think is at best described by uh, saying it's a cross between World War II naval combat and Mountain Blade. So, that should give you a bit of an idea of what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to do a campaign in the Atlantic. Because that's, you know, where the best things happen. Tremia. We'll be, we will be known as Captain Tremir. We have three picks here. We have the Royal Navy, the U.S. Navy, and the Kriegsmarine. I, of course, am going to choose the Royal Navy. Because we all know just how awesome the Royal Navy is. Ooh, I'm a sucker for a pipe. Hmm. So, we're going to just play on normal difficulty, I think. So, congratulations, Commander Tremere. I'm promoting you to the rank of Captain. We're first Commander the Destroyer uh, HMS Nizam. Get out there and take the fight to the enemy. So, unfortunately, we are playing with more or less very crummy uh, destroyers for the moment. It starts out like this. And we'll actually be up against superior German destroyers. If, uh... It should be, this should be a 1930 class. Oh, hey, well, we have the HMS Hood backing us up here. Yeah, it's a Zersorter 1936 class. This is, that is significantly better than the uh, current one I have. <clears throat> and it's actually the German starting one. This is a bizarro World War II, by the way, where... Um, British ships just don't shoot, and the Germans have free reign over the oceans. Dud. <laughs> uh, can we get up to 36? I'm pretty certain that's not enough to even consider running the, uh, Zustorer, but, uh, it's our best shot. Boom, we got a hit at least. We also have torpedoes available to us, but uh, every so often we can just fire turrets. Uh, these are crummy little uh, destroyer guns, commonly called secondary cannons. Hey, ship crippled. All right, so now it can't move very fast. So I'm going to dive over this way and fire torpedoes. Torpedoes have a much more limited firing arc, because on a destroyer there's torpedo tubes on the sides, not anywhere else. Can't fire a torpedo straight forward, really. But, I, that's the one thing I suppose the N-Class does hove over this, is I shoot a bountiful six torpedoes to their four. That's alright. Either way. That ship is going down to the bottom of the ocean. Good way to start things off. And we will receive rank progress for it. This is uh, a bit of an RPG as well as a strategy. So, there will be, I believe, a few battles that we have to go along here. Yeah. You'll notice it gives me objectives to sink all these. And they're just single one-half uh, destroyers. <clears throat> half HP destroyers. So, real easy stuff. I will have more or less no problem with it. I don't have the hood to back me up for this fight. Oh, apparently I do. But the hood, which, by the way, far more willing to just let me, let you know, just sit there and take, take damage. Guess its guns have all been disabled or something, which is there for posterity's sake. I'm actually going to use this as a moment to try and practice my uh, torpedo leading. As, as you may imagine, we actually do need to uh, lead shots. That's why I always a little... Ooh, he's shooting for me. That's why I always lead a little bit. And at least we'll get one impact. Oof. He's not dead, but he's close to it. I doubt he can even shoot anymore. Boom. Taken down. Uh, torpedoes are very deadly, uh, if nothing else. Extremely destructive. Mm. God, I love that pipe. That is sexy. Mm, 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 mm. All right. We're earning uh, war bonds, which are the equivalent of money as well. XP uh, influences what ships you can buy. So for now, I actually can't really buy much. I think I can buy a torpedo boat. And, a dis and a, this shitty class of destroyer. It's also night now, so we have no idea what we're fighting against, but I'm pretty certain I saw two. So. That's uh, okay, so they have an oil tanker now. 
Alright, so this is basically a pseudo supply raid mission. The enemy will have supply ships and an escort. That's probably too much lead. Yeah. For some reason I thought I was firing a bigger gun. Yeah. Now, while uh, the destroyer guns uh, have a full 360 degree firing arc, because they're destroyers and they're just magic like that, once you get to the bigger, uh, whoops, the bigger guns that uh, cruisers and up have, which are main guns, ooh, dodge, that's barely. This ought to take care of it. Looks like uh, there will be torpedo impact. Good. Ow. Took a shot on. I don't think the oil tanker is fighting back against me. Uh, we're going to slow down to like 8 kilometers per hour. Just that way so we can uh, increase time compression. Go alongside the oil tanker. And more or less just do this. Since it can't fight back and we just have to sink it. Ship crippled. Alright. I should probably, uh... Those things you saw before were depth charges, by the way. I was just throwing those at it. Woo, depth charges. Very good at taking out submarines, as you may guess. Not particularly useful at all against ships, really, though. So, right now I'm just trying to get a bit of distance here. So that, because uh, torpedoes have an arming range. So, if I want to, say, do this, I need to make sure that the torpedoes will actually hit. Arming, 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 torpedo! Boom. Bridge hit. So we did take a little damage there, but that's okay. It... Message from the Admiralty. Keep up the good work. And we've unlocked the JK and N class destroyer. We still have more to sink, so we'll be getting right along here. Hopefully. Ah, it's the submarines. Which, of course, means it's. You know, this is, these are tutorial battles. Like, not, you're not even seeing the full. Uh, the hood should not be here. <laughs> Just submarines out here, yeah. I just got a screen for the hood here. Um. Okay. So, uh, basically, normal weapons, as you may guess, may not do so well against U-boats and submersibles. You need a particular kind of weapon known as a depth charge to deal any damage to it. Uh, ships have a little thingy, have uh, very special abilities. You'll find, I believe, all destroyers uh, and some larger ships are equipped with the ability to see submarines. And a few. Boom, boom, boom. Ships crippled so it'll be forced to surface. Um, and yeah, so let's let it surface. And then uh, hit it with our turret. Boom, boom. Ow! Hey, it can shoot back. That's no fair. U-boats, unfortunately, do have a deck gun, so... I suppose they can do that. Jerks. Boom! And back down you go. So that takes care of the submarine. That's, uh, the whole tutorial. It's like, there, you now know how to fight. Kind of. <laughs> unfortunately, nothing at all like that. You're on your own now, Captain. Yeah, we need to go to a friendly port and visit HQ. So we're going to head right to Portsmouth. Head to the shipyard. So we have uh, at our disposal a pile of British ships. Scoring all the way up to the King George V. Which has an astounding 10 14-inch guns. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. 39 HP and 6 armor. It's a lot of guns. Although, you know, it's, it's tough to... to Go with that between uh, the Nelson as well. I think the only thing that really gets the, saves the King George here 
is uh, the fact that it has higher HP and armor. It also has torpedo belt and radar and holy shit armored deck. Never mind. It takes a full 100,000 XP to unlock. So we're already 2% of the way there. I mean, hey, in 50 episodes we'll have one of those. <laughs> Uh, so we have the V&W class destroyer, which has a single secondary turret, five torpedoes. The I class destroyer has one secondary turret, five torpedoes, four depth charges, a corvette. The corvette is actually pretty neat because it has four X hedgehogs. Mm. Those are, uh, you see, normal depth charges start sucking ass uh, if you try and use them any, at any range other than point blank, despite the fact you can fire them pretty far. Hedgehogs are much better for that point. Uh, we have the N-Class Destroyer here, which is the one we're currently using. Which, one secondary turret for those. Unfortunately, you know, I'm more interested in getting my hands on a Tribal Class Destroyer, which we need 350 XP for. Because the Tribal Class is the first one that has two secondary turrets. As opposed to just a one. So, you know, a little bit better equipment wouldn't be terrible. It doesn't have much uh, in the way of torpedoes, but, you know, it gets the job done, I suppose. Really what matters. On the other hand, there really isn't much between this. Wow, really? We have a, uh, we, we actually have V&W class. This is a destroyer without radar. Which, I don't understand why. I mean, you can't hunt submarines, then. Why would you put depth charges on it? These, the, the N-Class Destroyer seems to be the best to grab, I guess. So, so we have a total of 8 million right now. Uh, I'll grab a second one. Uh, maybe I won't. Tough to say. Because I would really like to get uh, a decent cruiser here. Yeah, the Leander class, it's 17,450 XP away, but this is a good ship. Like, it's got six six-inch guns. So, you know, and some ex and two secondary guns. So it's already got more secondary guns than this destroyer does. Which is pathetic. Um, I think at the very least I'm going to wait until I can get a tribal class. Okay. So I have apparently no quests available. Damn. Caption, beware of the air of the defense of forbidden. We'll take out the enemy shipping lanes wherever you can and do some damage to Trondheim, Bergen, and Herschelis. Whatever the hell those are. Speaking of. Infamy. So it's the day of infamy speech. United States of America. Is now at war. Deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. I'm waiting for Dawn to engage here because I don't know uh, what their fleet composition is, so it's easier just to wait for Dawn and uh, check that out. It's two ships, and at least one of them is horrifically wounded. All right, so one of them's horrifically wounded, so that shouldn't be too hard. This is an easy enough fight, I think. Give me full throttle. Alright. Ready up. And fire. Boom. That's gonna hit left. Apparently no, it was gonna it was gonna hit right. I'm terrible at prediction. Good. Now start hard turn. Hard turn. That's great that you have those. I don't really care. I'm hard turning here. I want to try and maintain distance and sort of skirmish as opposed to getting in too close. Because it's easier for me to dodge shots. Out at this range. Yeah, it just becomes terrible at accuracy and my accuracy at range isn't really affected because I'm okay at leading shots Ooh. well got it <laughs> so 
for the moment at least, we've managed to do pretty significant damage to this thing without having actually taken on any of our own. Alright, so we destroyed some of its weapons. Impossible to say what we destroyed, but we destroyed something. With any luck, it will be their main guns. Or secondary guns. Now well, one of them anyway. Ooh, ship destroyed. Alright. So I have no idea what we've got here. This thing could be horrifically crippled. Here's not. It's still got guns, and it's still got torpedoes at the very least. So, while it may have very little hull integrity, it doesn't have much uh, actual system damage. On the offhand chance that those actually help. Boom. And boom. Anti damage and ship destroyed. Good. Managed to take out two destroyers for the price of one. No, actually, for the price of zero, we didn't lose anything. We barely took a scratch, actually, on that. And as an addition, the Tribal Class Destroyer. That's what I was looking for. You know, a few extra guns here and there is not a sign of weakness. It's like, yeah. It's like, all right. Yeah, let's, let's head back to port here. Give me a couple of destroyers. So, like I said, the Tribal Class... Probably one of the better destroyers there are. There's the ENF class, but, you know, it's actually, eh, I guess, the torpedo for the less ASW stuff. Of course, this thing doesn't even have a radar, so whatever. Three armor two. All uh, the destroyers seem to have more or less the same. But if you go to the leader class, our HP 10, so it's got about as much HP as 3.1 de 3.3 destroyers and extra armor. So, needless to say, it's going to be good. So, we can afford one of these. Just barely cannot afford a second one, though. I'm tempted to actually just get rid of the N class here. And I think I will. As nice as it is, a second tribal class would just be better to have. The Mohawk and the Somali. There. That's uh, going to be it for today, folks. Spot an enemy convoy near Cherbourg. Get over there and hit it with all you've got, Captain. Well, we have our objective for the next day. See you all tomorrow. And please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of the series. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely host, Kilvin, signing off.